Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm on a road trip right now and I happen to be passing through Fort Wayne, Indiana of all places. I have a little bit of free time so I thought I might just make a quick little video showing you just a few stores and what kind of movies they have in them. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I don't have time to stop at too many places here, but uh, just going to take a look at a few and see what they have. The first one I'm gonna go into is the Best Buy here. Then I'll try to hit up some more uh, sorta local-ish stores um, to see what they've got. So let's go ahead into Best Buy. All right, so here we are in the Best Buy. And this is just the, you know, right when you walk into the store, they have this tiny little island of new releases, basically. And I got very poor footage of that just because there's people all over the place, but there's a quick look at that. And then um, this is just a random small island of some 4K Ultra HDs. Um, just kind of random there. Got Top Gun down there on the bottom. But basically a sampling of just a few 4K movies. It's funny, they're not really close to like where they sell the 4K TVs necessarily. But anyways, there was that. And then here is the main movie section. And this Best Buy is basically not very different from any other Best Buy as far as I can tell. Um, I was taking a look at the core here, that's a good movie. Uh, one that I liked watching when I was uh, kind of in high school, I guess. But anyways, um, yeah, Best Buy, this Best Buy is kind of representative of most other ones, you know, pretty much across America for the most part. You know, they got just a slimmed down movie section. It's it's just, uh, you know, a few few rows, you know, they they used to have a much, much bigger movie section. Now it's trimmed down to just one, you know, one main area here. And they do have a few random end caps and stuff too. Um, so, you know, mainly these days, Best Buy just carries a smaller selection of older titles and then, of course, new releases. And then this is the last thing to look at is some kind of oddly placed uh, movie islands as well. These were... Not super far from that main movie area, but there it wasn't like right next to it, so kind of oddly placed. But um, yeah, these are all older titles here, a mix of Blu-rays and 4Ks. But this is basically basically what we've got. So this was um, early June of 2023. Just for reference, that's that's kind of going to be the purpose of this one because there's nothing really special here. But uh, there it was, Best Buy. And next we'll go into Half Price Books. And inside here, well, we've got, uh, first. the first thing I found anyways was just this sales section of DVDs. So nothing too special there. And we'll just keep walking around. And this is kind of their main movie area. They always have a lot of uh, movies at these Half Price Books, really. And it's, uh, you know, there's a lot to choose from. But there's also kind of a lot of those uh, kind of crappy movies in there intermixed with a few better titles. So you get all a lot of those compilation kind of DVDs and, you know, just a lot of movies that nobody really likes, you know, it seems like. Um, but anyways, here's a, a look at what we've got. They got a big war section, western section, and then going down here into anime stuff and then animated series like you've got Family Guy next to Dragon Ball Z. And I was taking a look at this. It's actually for the used price, about the same price as it is brand new at Walmart, I believe, um, which is interesting. But uh, a lot of TV shows to look at. And of course, everything here is uh, used. So, you know, the deals at half price books are usually not terrible from what I've experienced. But, um, you know, there's, there's a few good things, but also a lot of uh, kind of generic movies or just movies that nobody really really likes so but um hard for me to really pick out anything that's worth noting here i did take just a few pictures of um, a few shelves just because i couldn't film because there was people around so here's a look at those a lot of blu-rays there so you could have paused that if you wanted to see anything and then the children's blu-rays and dvds they've actually they, they put these in with all the children's books now so these are in a separate section compared to um, their main section of movies, but you can see that they do have quite a bit of things to choose from. There's a lot of duplicates of titles in here, um, but uh, yeah, there are a lot of different things. I didn't pick anything up from Half Price Books, but in any case, there was a look at what they had here. 
All right, now we're at what is probably gonna be my final destination at kind of a lonely little strip mall here. Um, but we got a store called Mega Replay and I'm excited to check out. Sort of, I think this is somewhat of a regional chain of stores, something like that. I've never been to one. Um, we also do have way back there, if you can see it is the Walmart. I don't think I'm gonna have time to stop in there or if I do, I'm not gonna have time to film. So this will probably be the last one. Let's go into Mega Replay and see what they got. All right, so inside Mega Replay, um, it's a really big store, honestly. Um, a little bit overwhelming, but it's, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. So right when you walk in and go to the left, they've got some Blu-rays there that you can see. And then on the other side, uh, a lot of different DVDs. Their DVD section is massive, as I will show you here. Um, and in case anyone didn't figure it out, it's pretty obvious, but um, for these clips that I'm taking inside of the store, I'm just doing audio over them after the fact. I didn't want to be talking when I was inside any of these stores just because I don't want anybody to know that I'm filming really. And it's just kind of awkward for me. So I don't really do that. So a few of the clips where I'm outside of the stores, I'm talk, you know, I'm actually talking with the video, but these ones I'm just uh, um, doing audio after the fact over it. But here's a look at the DVDs, um, you know, kind of the start of them. This is kind of at the front of the store. Um, kind of messy looking and but there is a lot of titles you'll see, you'll see in a little bit that there is just shelf after shelf after shelf of like just dvds i don't know why they have so many dvds because their blu-ray section seems to be you know quite a bit smaller um, and obviously dvds are i think they're still the most popular physical media format even in 2023 but uh or you know the most purchased or whatever but um but even so, there's just a lot more DVDs here than Blu-rays, it seemed like. I also noticed that right in front of the store, where you're, where you're close by the sun, there's a lot of sun-faded titles, unfortunately. So I sure wasn't interested in any of those. But here you can kind of see just the depth of how many aisles of just DVDs that there are in this store. So just going in and taking a look at some that they're all kind of in alphabetical order. And you can see that there's a lot of duplicates of some titles, you know, that a lot of the really, really common movies, they just have like, here's a good look here, SWAT. If you need a copy of SWAT, they got plenty here. Um, there's a few like little variations of them, but you know, those are all SWAT DVDs. The other thing is you'll see different prices sort of on some of them. Um, I think those were all 333, but I'll show you, I think in, you know, somewhere else here that there's, you know, seemingly the same title, but they're priced differently on occasion. But uh, yeah, just aisle after aisle of DVD inside Mega Replay. Like I was saying, Mega Replay, I believe is not like, it's not just one store. I believe it's a regional chain of stores, but this is the only one I visited. So it's the only one I have to really reference for what these stores are like. But here's just another aisle of DVDs. So, you know, there's just so many, I didn't even feel the need to uh, focus in on any title in particular. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a big library of DVDs. So, so here is a look at, you know, basically more DVDs. And I think we're kind of towards the back of the store now. So I'll start showing some different things. But there was a lot of them. I thought I was going to show a part where, um, you know, one of those uh, one of those titles that had a whole bunch of them for sale had different prices. I'm sure it might have been in the clip somewhere and I just missed it. Um, but here is, you know, once you get into the middle of the store, there's a children's dvd section so that's what we're kind of taking a look at here and on the other side of this they've got some new arrivals not new releases necessarily but new arrivals they've got a few vhs tapes there as well um they're all wrapped in plastic for whatever reason um yeah there's uh just kind of a second look at some of the children's dvd titles and then next, I believe we go around and take a look at the Blu-ray section, which is kind of in the front um, middle of the store. And like I said, compared to the DVD section, just not quite as many of them. So it's kind of interesting. But you can see a lot of them right here.
and walking around and here is another look at more blu-rays so there there's a there's a pretty good selection of the of them and as far as the prices in this store go they didn't seem too unreasonable generally except of course for a lot of those titles that are just you know super common titles that no one wants and they had like 20 copies of you know a lot of those were like three dollars and 33 cents and it's like okay well you have that many copies of them you almost could just you know put them at the front of your door for free and they may not all go because they're just there's so many of them and there's you know probably so many of them for a reason but um but you know there was there was a few titles that were you know in general, it seemed like they were reasonably priced. Also, video game section, pretty big video game section here, as you can see. You can get a bunch of controllers, you can get all kinds of accessories and everything. It seemed pretty cool. I didn't I didn't really buy anything. I did pick up one DVD here uh, from the children's section, but they had some N64s already to go there, and they were actually fairly reasonably priced. They were less than a hundred bucks, and um, you know, at least it seemed to me that they were fairly reasonably priced. Um, since, you know, those are getting older and older, um, these days, but, uh, you can see a lot of different video game stuff. I didn't show nearly as many video games that they had here, um, as the movie section so much, but you can see they got, um, NES games in a case there and stuff. So I didn't get too detailed in this section, but you can see that they've got a lot to choose from. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Just kind of a random one, just because I was out and about traveling and had just a little bit of spare time to stop at Fort Wayne, Indiana, of all places, and check out just a few stores. So here, to finish things off, is a last, um, you know, wide look at this kind of sad-looking strip mall that houses Mega Replay. Um, the town, you know, this um, shopping area in kind of northern Fort Wayne, Indiana, was... It was, there was like, not, it was really busy, first of all, super busy, you know, traffic everywhere. And then it was just, it was basically just your run of the mill, um, suburban America, you know, outer shopping area. It had a mall, they had the Best Buys, they had strip malls, they had Walmart, they had the, you know, that strip mall with Mega Replay and so forth. It was basically your, you know, very basic American place to shop. Um, what more is there to say? So. Uh, like I said, just a really kind of random video just to show you a few different places and uh, something a little different than usual. So there it was. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video.